Did I ever tell you that story about Hey Dude? Uh, when I lived in Tucson, I drank at this bar called the Golden Nugget. With Danny Cooksey? The dude who played Danny the Indian. No, no, no. I'm th- Danny Cooksey was the redheaded kid. No, 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 no. That was also the one who got kidnapped in different strokes. Oh, yeah. And was Eddie Furlong's best friend in and the beginning of Terminator 2. Also on. Uh, you're thinking of Salute My Shorts. Danny Cooksey? Yeah. Uh, he was on Hey Dude. What's Danny? We got to fact check that. I don't think he was. Ben Stiller's wife was on it. I, oh, she is hot. Yeah. That's a hot chick. But, um, Good job, Ben Stiller. So I drank at this bar called the Golden Nugget in Tucson, and this dude, there was like this guy that was just, <laughs> Golden Nugget. Yeah. And it is a shithole, but it's a fun fucking bar. And there was a smoking hot bartender named Holly that I was in love with, and then the other two looked like Vikings. Uh, I was drinking one day, and this guy at the bar is like, you know who that is? He's like, do you remember Hey Dude? I was like, yeah. He's like, that's the Indian guy. And I was like, what? And I asked the guy, he goes, shut the fuck up. He's just hammered. So I don't know if it was true or not, but I always think of that. I, was like, I want to see him. Where's her Indian guy? Christine oh, Taylor. Yeah. Play the play the music. Yeah. Was it him? Yeah. It was definitely him. You better watch out for those men. And that killer time. Now, I get it, but can we say, uh, can we check if Danny Cooksey was ever on Hey Dude? I, I Listen, he wasn't. Merkface Andy's saying this with such confidence. He was never on it? No, I don't think so. What was Danny Cooksey on? He was on Salute, Salute Your Shorts. Was that around this time? Yes. Same blockage, same programming block. Okay. Okay. He was on Salute My Shorts. With, which also has another memorable theme song. I don't remember it. Camp Bonawana, we hold you in our hearts. Is this maybe our... This is where we separate. The age? Yep. This is it, I'm huh? still too young. This is me being young. You've yeah. moved on. This is you looking at pussy. Pussy's being opened, and I'm, I'm in, oh, thoroughly yeah. enjoying it. Although somehow I was in the show. You don't remember Donkey Lips? Are you saying you're Donkey Lips? <laughs> it looks like... Uh, oh, that's the kid that became Lardass and Stand By Me. Yeah. Poor kid. There's Danny Cooksey. All right. Okay. Okay. Can we get a picture of Danny Cooksey today? I bet he is a jerk off. He's got he's got white supremacist haircut and salute your shorts. <laughs> yeah. No shit. He's got, you, mean, you want him to become Remy in higher learning? Yeah. <laughs> oh. It hurts. It hurts. Let's get this Cooksey info. Oh, he found him. Merkface has got him over there. We hold you in our hearts. Lose out of the YouTube search game. He's been on the music production. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, if he keeps fucking making hits like he's doing. Oh yeah, no shit. You're the fucking uh. Yeah, I got a full view. He looks almost the same. That's not him. He looks like an. He looks like a housewife from Ohio. Lou, everyone's seen his picture but me. <laughs> Now I have the shittiest seat in the house. Uh, I used to think I had the best seat. How do you spell Cook C? Cook S E Y. Cook C. <laughs> it's pretty phonetical, you <laughs> piece of garbage. Jay, this what nice. the fuck? I got fucking flipped. Snap it on Lou. Cook C. Yeah, it looks the same. I mean, he was. Uh, let's go to images. I mean, he was definitely. He always had dildo hair. <laughs> Yikes! He looks like he. Well, runs. my friend Mark. I know a guy named Mark who looks just like Danny Cooksey now. He looks like a Philly shithead. Yeah, he looks like he runs a carpeting business. But <laughs> he probably does. Yeah. What do you think he's up to? I don't know. Do we got. We got. He's signing a- different strokes pictures. There's a lot of voiceovers. A lot of voiceover work. Does he really? I respect the VO game. <laughs> still acting. It is still acting. I guess sort of. It Voice is. acting. Voice acting. What's the money like in that? You think? Decent. I bet, yeah? I bet Cooksey's got himself a dope head. You How think about, Cooksey's doing all right for himself? I bet he's got a sign, salute your shorts poster <laughs> with the rest of the cast. He's got a picture of him shaking hands with Arnold Schwarzenegger and in Ronald, Terminator 2. And Ronald Reagan. Yeah. Him and Furlong, arms over each other. But he was in a very special episode of Different Strokes where he, he got, got kidnapped. kidnapped. And he was, at a, by the way, can I say this about Cooksey? The younger you got. With him, oh. the better you got. Oh, he was adorable. Co- oh, man. Cooks, he's straight on the scene. No, co- no let's do, oh, let's do, what, let's do what he sings. Yeah, Jay, but I want to see shorts. Oh, yeah. I mean, no one more adorable. But let's get him singing. Add adorable to he sings country music. Oh. 
Him and Gary on Coleman. On different strokes? Oh, my Christ. <laughs> no. <laughs> Called cutesy. No, no, not this, not this. Go to the actual different strokes, right, different strokes. Dude, he was fucking adorable. Because this is him. He's too old here. This isn't him adorable. I'm talking about he's on different yeah, strokes. Now he's like into the weird, he's like forming into a person. Oh. It's going to be a whole fucking thing. I bet if you binged it, I'm on Team Jacob now. You Jake, think if you bing... Danny Cooksey child singing. Danny Cooksey singing. Yeah. Look, Jacob's going the The slower. race is on. No, he already binged it. We're already. Oh, no, now he's binging. Watch him in his element. Look at the way Jacob moves on Bing. Maybe so not, like Danny Cooks. You might want to do Sam Sings. <laughs> different strokes. Also, it's diff rent. There's no E between. That is not your fault, Lou. I'm not going to give you i uh, I'm not going to shun you for that one. That is odd spelling. The apostrophe. Yeah, take out the... Uh... How about there? Is he singing there? No, that's when he gets saved from being uh, fucking abducted, Lou. We're trying to go positive with this. We're trying to show him the most adorable. I mean, that guy must have worked. He probably did a lot of shit as far as working goes. In the early, if you're the most adorable kid, how much do you work? Oh how yeah, no, he's probably in all those episodic says like the fucking yes. little boy. But but it's funny, the cuter and younger you are. Oh, it's, it's it, a, yeah, it, that's it's a, a dicey. It's a, no, it is the cuter and younger you. Let's watch him get rescued. The cuter and younger you are. Uh, as a kid, the more, though, in Hollywood, you're going to play the adorable kid who gets finger-fucked by some guy who owns a bicycle shop. Yeah. We weren't going to give up until we found you. Donald! Donald! She had nothing to do with this. My wife and son had nothing to do with this. It's cruel. We'll have to figure this out later. Sam! He's got the presence of mind to be like, yeah, 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 no, just that guy was kidnapping me. Bye, buddy. You have the right to remain silent. Wait, hold up. I forgot that in the episode, this, this fucking pedophile has such a complete family. He's not a pedophile. He was just kidnapping him? He was kidnapping a kid for his wife, who can't have kids anymore, and she wanted more kids. Wow. So he's just like, hey, I found a kid. We're going to keep him. And somehow the wife, was dumb enough, the wife was dumb enough to go. It's like, that all sounds legit. <laughs> <laughs> but there's the scene. Go to 24. Uh, 24 second down. Uh, yeah, yeah, right there. <laughs> this is the scene. You get this straight, Sam. This is your family from now on. And stay away from that telephone. You step out of line just once. You remember what I told you I would do? I will kill your parents, Sam. Jesus. You hear me and understand me. Yes, sir. Yeah, no phone privileges. Got it, bud. Uh, hey, by the way. Guy led with a, with a, it was a harsh, he, he, a harsh hand. Heavy hand, that guy. It'd be great with. if Sam just rolled with it. He goes, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I've been looking away to knock off I those. will kill your parents. He goes, done deal. <laughs> and what? I just got to pick up that receiver and I call <laughs> awesome hotline. <laughs> I call it. I mean, you know, he's actually not even, he's just talking to a. Yes, he just operator. Calls number. Can you put me in touch with the hand of death? I'll just take care of it. I hear oh, all this got... talking. I don't hear all this parent killing. <laughs> we have to. Uh, we have to isolate that in some way. Get a drop on that for anyone who calls named Sam. Yeah. <laughs> I will kill your parents, Sam. <laughs> Do you understand me? Or for Sam Roberts, we could call into his show. <laughs> I will kill. Do you understand me, Sam? I will kill your parents. So Cooksey started working in. Um... Around 86, mm -hmm. he did, like, Star's Table. 1992, this motherfucker started working. Oh. Wild and Crazy Kids. They Remember got turned up. With Cuba Gooding Jr.'s brother, Wild and Crazy Kids? No. Great, great show on Nickelodeon. Then he jumps over to Tiny Toon Adventures. Then Duke's a Hazard, 83. Wait, what? Now it's jumping around. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, what? Guy does a lot of singing, apparently. This guy was working heavily in the 80s. Yeah, no, he's killing it. Duke's Hazard, Twilight Zone. He was in Mac and Me, A Smoky Mountain Christmas, MacGyver. He was Darren Cooper in an episode of 1986 of MacGyver. Yeah, I'm telling you, he was the cute kid in every episodic. I said that. Riptide, he... Mr. Belvedere, and then it just keeps fucking going. 